I'm Laura Nelson here with Adam Lamberg. He's one of the stars in Beautiful Loser. I'm going to ask him a couple questions and hope that I don't get too nervous and mess up. Okay. Can you tell us about your role in Beautiful Loser? Uh, yes. Um, Reggie is basically a, a rather ambitionless sort of youth, um, kind of a ne'er-do-well, drifting about. And, and then he falls for a girl. And that passion for the first time in his life just, you know, sort of completely awakens the kid. Um, and then it doesn't really go so charmingly, not, not quite according to plan. And, um, and then half the movie is um, contemporary, an adult version of me. And you sort of see what this one instance of heartbreak did to him for the rest of his life. And he sort of oh, wow. reverted back to that ambitionless, sort of aimless drifter type. So what attracted you to this role? Um, I, mean, I, hadn't, <laughs> I hadn't worked in a while, first of all. Um, and I knew the producer, so I definitely know that, that he does quality work and, and you know, felt very comfortable working with him again. Very cool. um, and I read the script and, and I liked it. You know, I definitely saw you know, a little bit of Reggie in myself. Uh, hopefully a little of myself and Reggie. Uh, either way, I guess it works. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, you know, I just sort of left it the chance to, to, to work again, you know? Okay, cool. So I read also that you have an interest in directing and writing. Is this something that you're yeah, hoping to what, pursue? what child actor doesn't want to get to the behind the camera at some point? Um, yeah, I, I just finished college about a year ago. Okay. So now that that's sort of ended that chapter in my life, I've been trying to get a little more serious about that, you know, branch out a little bit more. Um, haven't really done much in the way of actual getting towards that goal, but uh, you know, I, it's something I, I would like to do for sure. Very cool. Do you have anything you're working on right now? Any like things um, you've written? I'm actually sort of working on a uh, zombie movie script. You know what's um, funny? I love zombies. Who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? Um, you know, it's definitely something that captivates everyone's imagination. Um, and I sort of want to put a, a historical spin on it, which I think is, is Ooh, yet, be yet really to not really be done. So. Uh, yeah, you know, only about eight pages in, but uh, eight pages better than no over, pages. Over six, course of six months, though, it's definitely. <laughs> yeah, quality over quantity, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, where did you go to college? Uh, I went to UC Berkeley. Berkeley, okay. Yeah. What was your major? Uh, geography. Geography. Oddly enough. This from a film person. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I sort of saw college as you know something different. I, I didn't really want to get bogged down in, in theater or film or anything like that. And that's true. Why would I go to college if? something I've done with most of my life to that point anyway. That's true. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to learn things and, and you know, pick stuff up and know about the world. And, you know, geography fit the bill. It sort of made me feel like a scholar for a few years at least. <laughs> Very cool. So, okay, I know I watched you on Lizzie McGuire. Everybody watched you on Lizzie McGuire. Do yep. people come up to you and yell, Gordo? Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> it, it still happens, surprisingly. Um, really? You know, I feel like I've done a decent job of growing the hair out and, and trying to blend in. No, but, uh, yeah, oddly like enough. Yeah, no, I was actually just in Shanghai a couple of days ago, and someone recognized me in Shanghai. I mean, she was an American girl, oh, but oh, okay. still, I mean, of all places, like at a dumpling house in Shanghai, That's like, funny. you don't really expect to get noticed. That's really interesting. So, you know, that sort of threw me for a loop for a while. Do you still keep in touch with any of the Disney kids? Not really, actually. Um, I was older than most of the other kids who worked on the show. That's true. So we didn't really get along. I mean, we got along, but in a more sort of a co-worker kind of fashion, not, not a let's be friends all the time kind of fashion. So that makes sense. I'm also pretty terrible at staying in touch with people in general. So <laughs> all right, it well, happens. <laughs> well, thank you for talking with no, me. No, it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. I'm here with Lenny Von Dolan. He is one of the actors in tonight's movie, which is Beautiful Loser. Am I correct there? You did right. All right. And what can you tell us about your role in this film? Well, I play the uh, sort of hero when he grows up 20 years after high school. And uh, the writer-director based it on many true things that happened to him. So he was a great source of, uh, you know, you could go to him and say, well, did, how did it happen? Did it happen this way? He'd say yes. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. that's good for pulling information, right? Yeah. He was a bill collector before he, before he started writing movies. And uh, so you can, you know, it can begin from anywhere, it seems. That's very interesting. Yeah. Um, what what else have you worked on that people would recognize? Oh God, mostly uh, <laughs> uh, films, probably, but uh, some television like Twin Peaks and uh, things You're like that. You on that, yes. So, is this your first time at the SoCal Film Festival, or have first you been time. first time? Mm -hmm. And how are you liking it so far? Fine. <laughs> Beautiful people. It's great. It's fun. Um, what else was I gonna ask? We'll cut this part. Should I have lost my last question? What was it? Oh well. Can I ask you a question? You can ask me a question. What do you want to do with your life? With when my life. When you 
I mean, why are you doing this? I mean, do you want to go into broadcast journalism? I, I want to go into broadcast journalism, and I know that it's a com very competitive business, and you kind of have to be up there, and you have to be ambitious about what you want to do. Mm -hmm. So I've been going out to local things lately and just interviewing people and getting footage and trying to put together little bits of shows. Mm -hmm. I eventually want to have my own travel show because I really want to see the world. Oh, yeah. So, want I to travel. know. <laughs> that's, that's my dream in life, to have my own travel show like Samantha Brown or Anthony Bourdain. So. Yeah, Anthony Bourdain, yeah. I love him. He's so funny. I'd love to intern with him. But so that's what I I'm trying to do. I wish you so much luck. Thank you. It's Thank really you so nice much. Talking to you. It was nice talking to you too. Thanks for Sweet. asking my questions. Enjoy the movie. Oh, I will. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Laura Nelson here at the SoCal Film Festival 2009, closing out. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.